Whoa! If you meet this on the beach, cry for help as loud as possible. There are so many different species living in the ocean. Some of them are beautiful, some are deadly, and some are both. How do you recognize something that you can touch and something you have to run away from as fast as possible? How do you stay alive after a simple walk on the beach or swim in the sea? In this video, Brightside will tell about the most dangerous sea creatures you can meet and how to recognize them. Ooh, good thing! Counting down from number 10, Fire Coral. Do you know why scuba divers have to wear gloves? Yes, one of the reasons is fire coral. These small organisms can sting, and the effect can be not very serious, just a mild irritation, and it can be quite bad. A stung person may have severe pains, feel nauseated, and even vomit, which is not the best thing to do when you are underwater. Yeah, it makes a big green cloud. So, if you decide to go scuba diving, make sure you have all the necessary gear for it and just be safe. Don't touch anything. Number 9. Flower Urchin This urchin is both very beautiful and very deadly. It contains toxins that can cause anaphylactic shock, convulsions, and finally, death. You can get poisoned if you step on it when you're in the sea or the ocean. You have to be super careful and watch your step. Many people who step on flower urchin die, not because of the toxin itself, but because they got disoriented by pain and drowned. Number 8. Cone Snail These guys have been very popular among collectors, but we recommend you not to fall for the pretty appearance. Scientists say that just one drop of the cone snail's poison is enough to kill 20 people. Just one drop! Almost as bad as my roommate's cooking! The respiratory system shuts down due to paralysis which causes death. What's both curious and terrible is that this snail is sometimes called the cigarette snail. The thing is, after you get stung, you only have enough time to smoke one cigarette. On the bright side, you really will quit smoking. Number 7. Portuguese Man of War This animal looks truly beautiful, and many people mistake it for a jellyfish. That's why a different name for this animal is false jellyfish. <laughs> Get it? You can find it mostly in tropical and subtropical regions of the Pacific and Indian Ocean. But sometimes, the currents move man of war to places where it doesn't usually live. The most mind-blowing fact about man of war is that technically, we should call it men of war and not refer to it as it but they. And here's why. It's an animal that is made up of a colony of organisms cooperating together. Man of War has tentacles that can be 30 feet long, which it uses to paralyze and kill fish and other small creatures. Fortunately for humans, a Man of War is not deadly, but extremely painful. And the worst parts about its venom is that it can stay on beaches for days after the animal itself is gone. So, if you are on a beach, look for warning signs. If you are stung by a man of war, don't even think about peeing on the sting. This will only make things worse, and you'll look very silly. Instead, use cold to reduce the swelling and kill the pain. Number 6. Snee snakes. I mean, sea snakes. Yeah, say that five times real fast. Yep, snakes in plural, because we mean a whole variety of species. Sea snakes are in fact much more venomous than their land-living friends. Why are they so venomous? Well, as it turns out, they have to be like that, because they hunt fish. So what they need to do is immobilize their prey very quickly not to let it escape. The good news is that in most cases, if you get bitten by a sea snake, there is an anti-venom that you can take to survive. However, there is one snake that you definitely don't want to meet. The beaked snake. One drop of its venom can end lives of three men. And as you have probably guessed, it also causes your respiratory system to stop working. The only upside here is that the beak snake is usually found in deep waters, so seeing it on the beach is very unlikely. Number 5. Lionfish The fish that cannot tell the truth. Yes, they're always lion. Sorry. Many people call the lionfish the most beautiful sea creature in the world. You can find them in the Caribbean and Eastern Atlantic. Lionfishes are not deadly. They do have a venom, but it's not lethal. However, 
The pain you will experience if you get stung is so severe that people say you might wish you were dead. One fisherman whose foot was stung says he wanted it to be amputated. That's how bad the pain was. On the bright side, lionfishes are not offensive. If you don't do anything that it might perceive as dangerous, it probably won't attack you. Probably. Number 4. Chironex This jellyfish doesn't have any teeth, but it's dangerous as hell. If a person gets stung, they will have excruciating pain, red inflammation in the stung area, and heart dysfunction. The victim needs to be taken to the nearest hospital as soon as he or she is pulled out of the water. Otherwise, death is inevitable. To be safe, don't touch any jellyfish at all. What if it's a Chironex? Another thing you should always do is watch out for warning signs on all beaches where you go swimming. Number 3. Surgeon Fish No, this is not the one you call if you got stung by a Chironex. This one got its name for a reason. These fish have razor-sharp, scalpel-like things on their tails. They can easily cut off a human hand if a person comes close to it. Now, when you know why they have such a name, please give us a thumbs up if you still have a thumb, if you find this video interesting. Surgeon fish are easily spooked, so you should be extra careful if you see one of them. Don't make any unexpected fast moves. The good news is, surgeon fish are not aggressive unless, of course, you provoke them by not paying your medical bill or something. Number 2. Indonesian Needlefish these fish live in tropical and subtropical waters of the oceans. They, as the name suggests, have a very sharp needle-like beak, and they are especially dangerous when they hurl themselves out of the water. So, their most often victims are fishermen who get stabbed by them and have no time to get to the shore quickly to get urgent medical treatment. It doesn't happen very often, hey, just think about it, what are the chances, but it still does. And number 1. Triggerfish This fish is mostly friendly, but only until you are a threat to its nest. The most dangerous are females, of course. If you approach its nest even accidentally, it will bite you. Thankfully, the bites aren't poisonous, but triggerfish have extremely sharp teeth. So, the injuries it can cause need serious medical attention. Curious snorkelers and divers are the most frequent victims of triggerfish. If you know about any other sea animals that we haven't told you about, let us know in the comment section below. Send this video to your friends to keep them safe during their next vacation. Like this video and hit the subscribe button to join us on the bright